okay good evening students uh, i hope you have read whatever was taught yesterday and you are ready with your concept of distance and displacement we are going to take it to a higher level now uh, we have already learned how to calculate distance we already learned how to calculate displacement we also know its units okay what was the unit meter and uh, the shortest length is nothing but displacement we calculate with the help of initial and final position and distance we calculate that is total length okay now what we'll do is today we will go with new point about them there is some relation between displacement and distance that is always asked in the exam it's a one liner question but definitely it is asked okay yeah? so it's a very high probable question that we'll discuss today okay so yesterday uh, we have gone through these examples just one minute okay okay so yesterday we have gone through these examples like uh, we like you know found out about what is distance and displacement in each of these cases for till example five now today what we'll do is we will try to establish a relationship between distance and displacement okay yeah? so uh, i just want your feedback first focus on case number 1 now what i have done is in this one in this slide i have uh, decreased our journey length okay yeah? till last slide it was extensive like it was from o to e i have cut it down to b okay yeah? i have just taken three elements so that it is easy for us to understand the relationship now case 1 first what we are doing is in case 1 we are taking the journey from o to b okay yeah? o to b so distance is 10 displacement is 10 okay give me uh, your response in chat box do you agree case 1 distance is 10 displacement is 10 o to b whether you agree okay okay many students are saying yes fine 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 so uh, is the conclusion correct which is drawn below i have highlighted in red case 1 See, distance is ten, displacement is ten. So sometimes it might happen displacement and distance both are equal. Okay, as in the case one, ten and ten, so displacement equal to distance. It is possible. Okay, this is first relation. Now focus on case number two. Case number two. That is, it is at the bottom. What it is saying is case number two. Journey from O to B and to A. O to B and to A. Okay, so it has traveled to B then to A. So total distance is ten plus five. That is fifteen. Distance is fifteen. Displacement. First position is O. Final position is A. Length between them is five. So displacement is five. Okay. Do you agree with the case two? Distance is fifteen. Displacement is five. Yes. Okay. So is the conclusion correct that sometimes displacement is less than distance, as in this case, five is less than fifteen. So displacement is less than distance. In first case, we got displacement is equal to distance, and in sometimes it is displacement less than distance. correct now focus on case 3 journey from o to b and to o means it has started from o went to b and came back again on the same position o starting and ending point is same so distance is 20 10 plus 10 20 distance displacement 0 do you agree give me yes okay fine so is the conclusion correct displacement is equal to 0 displacement is equal to 0 correct so we have three cases displacement is equal to distance displacement is less than distance and displacement is zero correct we have three cases now chalo so we have taken ample information you are not supposed to write down this it is just for understanding one particular question in the exam these two questions are asked theek hai based on these two cases i will highlight it for you case number 3 and case number 4 these two cases are always asked theek hai so they will ask you what is the relation between distance and displacement now according to our information displacement can be equal to distance case 1 it can also be less than that case 3 we are also seeing sometimes displacement is zero theek hai and when the displacement is zero when the initial and final position is same means the person has started from one point and again came at the same point so displacement is zero and case 4 uh, displacement is greater than distance see this condition is never possible displacement cannot be greater than distance in any case we have already seen number of scenarios never in any of the examples it came that displacement is greater than distance okay do you agree that displacement cannot be greater than distance we have seen examples because maximum length of travel will be calculated as what distance even if suppose it's a maximum length is what distance correct but 
suppose let us say we even if we travel something or maybe we have taken the full length it can never happen that displacement is crossing more than distance because displacement is what this length between initial and final position but in distance we are already taking that into account so it will never happen that distance is less than displacement distance will always be greater or equal theek hai so that is the thing to so do one thing in your notebook write down these case 4 uh, all the cases case 1 case 2 case 3 and case 4 i want you to write down because case 3 in the exam first thing is asked is can displacement be zero theek hai a simple one liner question is asked so displacement is zero and they will also ask you condition when it is so so when displacement becomes zero when initial and final position is same that we know and case 4 also they ask is it possible that displacement is greater than distance they will just ask you they won't ask you the reason because they already know if you are answering that question so that means they you know the reason that is what they are assuming so displacement cannot be greater than distance theek hai so please write down these case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 in notebook this is a very important conclusion and write it properly every year in every of the exam this kind of question is asked theek hai so please do it properly after you are done with the writing case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 please let me know theek hai just hit y okay fine okay so conclusions you are drawn and uh, remember this many of the students must have understood this concept but sometimes it might happen that you are learning it for the first time and hence it is hard for un to understand the relationship but uh, for students who have not understood it at least do one thing remember this that displacement cannot be greater than distance theek hai the case four just remember that during our maturity of these four five lessons of physics in class 9 after suppose let's say certain days you will easily understand that why displacement is not greater than distance automatically you will understand but it needs certain maturity so even if you understood very nice if there is some doubt do one thing just keep this point in your mind you will easily understand as we discuss it further as we take subsequent topics you will easily understand theek hai so don't worry right now just remember that that's it chalo now there was one another definition which we looked for displacement it was that it is the length between initial and final position but there was also one word written at the end it was shortest distance theek hai so that scenario you will also see now consider this what we are studying here right now is shortest distance theek hai displacement as in terms of shortest distance now you must have heard in geometry theek hai in uh, maths there is one thing something called as the shortest distance that is the shortest length between any two points is a straight line okay have you heard this statement give me answer in the chat box that the shortest length between two points is a straight line there is one theorem also it has been taught i don't know if you remember it or not it is from maths shortest length between two points is a straight line yes okay many students are saying yes fine 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 so even if you don't know this concept it is fine we will just test it whether displacement is really the shortest length theek hai that will see chalo focus on this now that this is particularly the path traveled now and is present on point a theek hai it's a very happy and wants to go to point b where sugar blocks are kept theek hai sugar cubes are kept at point b now what it did is it used this blue what i can say path to reach that point b theek hai He, it wants to eat that sugar cube so it took that path so that is the distance traveled theek hai that is the distance traveled but remember this that for us to calculate displacement for example we need initial and final position now initial position is a final position is b so what will do to calculate that we will directly join a and b and it's a straight line you can see the shortest distance that means it is a and b that is the shortest distance and that's a straight line so to calculate displacement in this case what we are going to do we are simply going to join initial and final point that's it theek hai i hope the point is clear theek hai that displacement that is the distance that is the displacement i want you to have this example in a notebook theek hai just draw point a and b draw that distance and draw that displacement forget about that ant and sugar cubes theek hai this concept is to understand shortest length 
just write it down in your notebook and do not draw that ant and sugar cubes it is not necessary it is just for understanding purpose theek hai chalo i will give you roughly just uh, 30 seconds just draw it take two points and just like you know draw a line there it doesn't need to be a dotted line just draw a line theek hai same in that fashion and displacement for displacement just join a and once you are done give me y in your chat box theek hai and write it properly because this concept i want you to remember for solving numericals there are thousands of numericals we are going to do so i need this concept very clear theek hai okay chalo done everybody has written uh now next thing now this activity is actually supposed to be taken we have uh, completed activity 8.1 and activity 8.2 this activity 8.3 is supposed to be done in the school but school is closed so what we'll do is we will complete this activity in a virtual way what they are asking us is that uh, you go to a basketball court that is what they are saying with a meter scale theek hai they want you to have a meter scale it's a big scale and uh, they want you to go to a basketball court and they want you to travel from one corner of the basketball court to the another corner theek hai start your journey from one corner to another corner and then they are saying calculate your displacement theek hai that is what they are asking major the distance and displacement both things they want you to calculate theek hai to so, chalo we'll take one virtual uh, do one thing first write down the activity 8.3 does the heading in your notebook and we will solve it together theek hai i want your uh, input on this chalo please write down activity 8.3 in your notebook and be ready to give me the answer okay so this is the virtual what i can say uh, a basketball court and what i have done is i have given four points corner a b c and d there are four corners correct and what i have done is i have taken hypothetical distance theek hai it this 10 meter which i have given distance between a and b it is not actual distance which is there officially on basketball court theek hai so don't what i can say memorize this it is just hypothetical distance i have given now in that activity they are saying you travel from one corner to the other so we will assume that we are traveling from point a then we are going to point b that straight line huh? they are asking us to travel on the edge so theek hai we are traveling from a to b theek hai and then from b to c now they want you to calculate distance in this case we have traveled from a to b b to c give me answers in your chat box give me answer in your chat box this we have traveled from a to b and then b to c what is the total length total distance traveled kitna hoga what is the distance okay distance is 25 now do one thing write down that particular distance in your notebook distance is equal to 25 meters distance is equal to 25 meters theek hai write down in your notebook distance is equals to distance is equals to ab plus bc is equal to 10 plus 15 is equal to 25 okay now please tell me the logic to find out displacement as we use the use the same logic as the and how can we calculate displacement what do we need to do can you give me answer in the chat box what should we do okay we we are not going to go with pythagoras aditya because uh, we are not going to take what i can say we are not going to be very much technical about it you just tell me what logic we should use join a to c okay okay that is correct one student has given me that please sir join a and c yes correct what about other students what about other students diagonal distance yes correct urjit you are correct diagonal distance move diagonally correct so if i give you the distance between a and c that will be your displacement correct now i will give you one more additional info and you tell me the answer now chalo in your chat boxes give me i have given you additional information now tell me displacement tell me displacement chat box give me answers i have given you additional info okay okay correct you are getting the meaning of of displacement right now okay bhaktaraj correct 16 okay yes correct 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 so you are getting my point so this is your answer so write down displacement is equal to ac is equal to 16 theek hai according to pythagoras theorem actually we should be solving but for now we are not going to go that much technical we are just taking the distance as it is and will writing it down 
So first distance is 25 and displacement in this case is 16 meter. So la, 16. Okay. So write down that answer in your activity that 8.3. Can we move? Give me why in your chat box. Okay, okay, correct, correct, correct. Right, fine. Chalo, we can move then. Now we have to learn about two important things. Okay, students who have not understood, let's say, just I will revise it then in 10 seconds. See. Uh, okay, Sonia is saying she has not understood. Sonia, listen to this. See, we have traveled from A to B. Okay, the first distance we have traveled is from A to B. So we took A until B. Okay, that length is 10. Then we traveled from B to C. Okay, so 10 plus 15, that is 25. So that distance we have come across. But for what I can say to calculate our uh, displacement, we need the initial position. We cannot take intermediate position. So B we cannot take. So second position we have to take is C. We have joined them and that info was given 16 meter. So this is additional information which I gave later. Sonia, I have given this information extra. Students didn't know about it. I have given this extra info. So students concluded that answer is 16 meter, 1, 6. Okay, I hope that point is clear. Chalo, let us begin with the next one. Now, we are going to understand two important devices. One is speedometer, one is odometer. And many a time in the exam, this question is asked. Okay, so let us see these devices. So this is one of the dial which is present in our cars, a regular dial. Okay, it's showing the speed. And uh, this is one of the dials we have, and there is something at the bottom. So that is what we are focusing on. For, forget about the other dials which are present okay, on left and right. Focus on the center one. So what it is saying MPH or K kilometer per hour. So either the speed is being given in MPH or kilometer per hour. So how it, it is represented C, that MPH means miles per hour. Mile is, that is the unit of distance, which is used in USA. So they calculate in terms of miles, but we use kilometers. Okay? So that orange lining is kilometers and the white numbers are miles. Now focus on these. We have two dials. One is showing that upper part, one is the blue part. Okay? We will focus on each of them. Now that complete set is called as speedometer. Okay? So that is the speedometer which is on top of it. Okay? So that is the section. This is the bottom one is like, you know, called as speedometer. But the ones which is in blue, the bottom part, okay? this bottom part. This bottom part is called as odometer. Okay? O D O M E T E R. Odometer. And that is a combined dial. So okay, we don't get odometer separate. Speedometer is what meter which is going to calculate speed. So it shows speed. So for example, the length has been given as suppose, let's say in this particular dial, this is at 40. So that means the car is traveling at 40 miles per hour. That is what it is showing. And the bottom part it is showing as it is called as odometer. What it does is it calculates whatever the distance this car has traveled. Okay. So it calculates the distance it has traveled. Suppose the current reading is 091308, correct? And for example, if you are traveled two kilometers, okay, if you are traveled two kilometers, so it will show you the new reading as 091310. Okay, so that will be your new reading. Why? Because two kilometer you have traveled more as compared to your previous ones. So that means 091308 plus two kilometers. So that means the new reading is 091310. So bottom part is showing you the distance the particular car has traveled and the upper dial is showing you what is the speed of the car. Okay. So do one thing. I hope the point is clear. What is speedometer? Give me answers in a chat box. What is speedometer? Gives idea of what? Speed. Is it correct? Understanding the point? Speedometer gives you... Okay, yes. Fine, fine. Correct, correct, correct. So answer is very much simple. Speedometer means the device which shows speed. Okay, correct. And what is odometer? Odometer gives you what? The distance the car has traveled. Are you understanding? Total distance traveled. Yes, correct. Total distance traveled. Now answer my question. Uh, true or false? The odometer and the speedometer dial in a car, they are kept separate. Is it true or false? False, false, false. Yes, correct. Because many a times, most of the times, this dial is with speedometer. Okay? So do not get confused. Speedometer and odometer, these are completely two different devices. Okay? 
वन इज मेजरिंग स्पीड वन इज मेजरिंग लेंथ ट्रेवल ठीक है नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू वन थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस कोडोमीटर टू फाइंड आउट लाइक हाउ मच द लेंथ डिस्टेंस द कार एज ट्रेवल नो फोकस ऑन दिस नंबर ठीक है इट्स अ बिग नंबर जीरो नाइन वन थ्री जीरो एट आर यू सेम दिस नंबर ठीक है फोकस ऑन दिस नंबर जीरो नाइन वन थ्री जीरो एट नो प्रॉब्लम इज दैट सपोज वी आर ट्रेवल टू किलोमीटर तो डिस्टेंस वुड बिकम जीरो नाइन वन थ्री वन जीरो दैट वी नो बट मेन इशू हियर इज दिस नंबर इज ऑलमोस्ट हाउ मेनी डिजिट थ्री फोर फाइव फॉर गेट अबाउट दैट जीरो दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलरेडी फाइव डिजिट नाउ टू रिमेम्बर सच अज नंबर इट्स वेरी हार्ड फर्स्ट वी नीड टू राइट इट डाउन देन वी नीड टू कंपेयर Because even if you take the new reading, for example, zero nine one three one zero, so how do we remember what was our previous reading? It's a big number, okay? So for that, there is one solution. So this particular dial is from old car. These days, okay? These days, what what we have is just focus on this. We have two odometers. We we don't have just a single odometer. We have two odometers. One, not two odometers, okay? This one. we have this odometer and we have another odometer we have two odometers theek hai so that upper odometer is used this is present in modern day cars so your car will have two odometers and sometimes your car might be having digital odometers theek hai so if you just press the knob you will be able to see almost three odometers in the same dial theek hai that is also possible in some of the modern cars so we have two in this case the top one is giving you the top odometer is for uh, lowing How much total distance that particular car has traveled? ठीक है, like this particular car has traveled nine nine four eight three kilometers. ठीक है, from the time it was created, ठीक है, the moment this car was manufactured, from that time it has traveled nine nine four eight three kilometers. ठीक है, now focus on the second odometer at the bottom. Our main issue with previous odometer was that we had to remember this whole number. ठीक है, now we don't need to remember the new number. see you can uh, focus on this particular point there is one knob here black knob this black knob is used to reset this value theek hai we can reset the value so that same knob we can press and this number which is present here 691 whatever the zero last digit is not visible so we'll just say it is zero 6910 can be suppose if you press that knob it will become zero the new reading will become 0000 so whenever suppose let's say if you want to travel from परभनी टू नांदेड ठीक है तो व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल जस्ट प्रेस दैट नाउ यू विल द बॉटम रीडिंग विल बिकम जीरो एंड व्हाटएवर द डिस्टेंस इट यू हैव ट्रैवल्ड फॉर एग्जांपल 160 किलोमीटर्स यू हैव ट्रैवल्ड सो दिस रीडिंग विल बिकम 0160 द बॉटम रीडिंग अपर रीडिंग विल नॉट रीसेट ओनली द बॉटम रीडिंग विल बी लाइक यू नो इट विल रीसेट टू जीरो एंड इट विल कैलकुलेट फ्रेश दैट मींस यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर द प्रीवियस नंबर जस्ट प्रेस द नाउ इट विल डू द वर्क फॉर यू ठीक है so uh, give me answers in the chat box are you understanding the difference between odometer which were present previously what problem they had and how we fixed it theek hai we fixed it with the help of two odometers okay okay correct correct theek hai okay fine now focus on the next part so now we know how to use them how to use uh, our odometer just press this knob which is present theek hai ye jo black wala knob hai at the bottom just press that it will reset and you can calculate the distance so whenever we see currently we are under lockdown theek hai so i can't ask you to suppose let's say test this in your car so if your car at your home and whenever this lockdown like you know it's lifted you test this particular point that how to use this knob and after pressing that knob what happens theek hai but take permission from your father first theek hai before car else you might do something else and you know anything can happen so uh, <laughs> obviously you do it under the adult supervision theek hai take permission from your father ask him how that knob works and he will explain you theek hai he has that idea at least the driver will have it theek hai chalo now let let us focus on the next point so do one thing uh, please write down these points in your notebook theek hai these are asked in the exam always so speedometer used shows speed odometer shows distance traveled theek hai shows distance traveled odometer just write down in your notebook let me know in your chat box once you are done okay done written yes or no 
ओके ओके श्रीनिधि यस ओके बकरा जी यस ओके फाइन चलो नाउ आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है ट्रू एस ट्रू और फॉल्स ओडोमीटर शोज डिस्प्लेसमेंट ट्रू और फॉल्स ओडोमीटर शोज डिस्प्लेसमेंट आदित्य सब बड़े सेइंग फॉल्स कर रहे हैं यस इट इस फॉल्स गैलेक्सी यस अखिलेश कोतवाल फॉल्स यस श्रेष्ठ कदम फॉल्स जेस्ट फॉल्स ओके यस योर आंसर्स आर वेरी मच राइट ओडोमीटर डजन शो डिस्प्लेसमेंट इट शोस डिस्टेंस ठीक है तो दैट क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो आस्ट इन द एग्जाम नाउ लेट अस फोकस ऑन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नाउ ओके सो दिस इज वन एक्टिविटी बट एक्चुअली दिस इज सपोज्ड टू बी डन बाय यू आई आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू गिव यू सम गाइडेंस हाउ टू डू इट बट एक्चुअली इट हैज टू बी डन बाय यू इन दिस एक्टिविटी 8.4 दे आर आस्क्ड देयर दे हैव गिवन यू अ हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन इन व्हिच यू आर ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम भुवनेश्वर टू दिल्ली ठीक है यू आर ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम सिटी भुवनेश्वर इट इज इन ओडिशा तो फ्रॉम भुवनेश्वर टू यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू न्यू दिल्ली तो दैट इज व्हाट दे आर सेइंग एंड द रीडिंग ऑफ द ओडोमीटर दे आर सेइंग इज 1850 सो दैट इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल करेक्ट 1850 किलोमीटर्स इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल दे आर आस्किंग अस टू फाइंड आउट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द डिस्प्लेसमेंट बिटवीन भुवनेश्वर एंड न्यू दिल्ली by using the road map theek hai to they are asking us please use road map and tell us what is the distance between bhubaneswar and new delhi theek hai okay so this is the map this is the map of india just one minute yes so tell me uh, one thing how we can find out distance between bhubaneswar and new delhi from this map how to do that i will give you a simple idea ठीक है फोकस ऑन दिस यू माइट बी हैविंग योर स्कूल एटलस इफ यू डोंट हैव इट देन प्लीज बाय सपोज इट से फ्रॉम अ शॉप आफ्टरवर्ड्स व्हेन द लॉकडाउन इज लिफ्टेड बिकॉज़ यू आर इन स्टैंडर्ड 9th नाउ यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टडीइंग ज्योग्राफी यू शुड हैव स्कूल एटलस ठीक है इट इज अ बुक ऑफ मैप्स सो इन इन दैट वन आई विल जस्ट गिव यू व्हाट मैप कंसिस्ट ऑफ इवन दो आई हैव नॉट टॉट यू एसएसटी बट आई विल जस्ट गिव यू अ सिंपल आईडिया ठीक है हाउ टू यूज मैप्स तो ठीक है कंसीडर द बॉटम पार्ट दे हैव गिवन सम डिस्टेंसेस 0 to 80 to 160 You have to place your simple scale, which you have in your geometry box. ठीक है, अपनी जो normal scale है, just put it here on the zero marking. Whatever the, for example, the distance is from zero to eighty. Suppose it is two centimeter in your, what I can say, scale. So you just put it there, and that two centimeter would be equal to eighty kilometers. ठीक है, so that that is how you are supposed to use it. Then next thing, what you have to do? Use your scale and join New Delhi and second place is Bhubaneswar. ठीक है, this one and calculate this length. You put this length, हाँ, uh, calculate it with the help of your normal scale and compare it with this, the bottom part. You will get the distance between New Delhi and Bhubaneswar. It is as simple as activity. So you do it later and let me know what's your answer. ठीक है, not right now. Let me know afterwards. चलो. Now we have to solve some blue questions. तो ठीक है, we will try to solve as many questions as possible right now and then we will end our session. So write down blue questions page hundred. Okay, this is the title of your uh, next thing we are going to write down. Chalo, give this title in your notebook. Blue questions page hundred. Okay, so page number the it's a textbook page number and the blue questions these these three questions and always remember the index blue questions of NCERT from class ninth are very important even in class tenth. C C B S E what what it does is it has the habit of asking question directly from these these are called as conceptual questions you should never leave it sometimes it might happen that teacher who is teaching you he is suppose it says skipping these questions but you do not skip it ठीक है it is your job to do this but in our sessions at least I will take all the blue questions don't worry but do not let go these questions very important ठीक है चलो now we will answer this one by one first question help me to answer this they are saying an object has moved through a distance theek hai one certain hypothetical object move theek hai it move from one place to another can it have zero displacement if yes support your answer with an example first give me answers like can there be zero displacement is it possible is zero displacement possible yes 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 many students are saying yes now they are asking us to give example what can be the example अच्छा गिव मी द कंडीशन व्हेन इट बिकम जीरो जीरो कब होता है डिस्प्लेसमेंट व्हाट इज सेम टू बिकम डिस्प्लेसमेंट जीरो व्हाट शुड बी सेम 
बोलो भाई आंसर बोलो हाँ तन्मय आज गिवन आंसर व्हाट इफ इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजीशन इज सेम करेक्ट पार्वे व्हाट यू आर रिटर्न व्हेन इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजीशन आर सेम करेक्ट यस 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 सो यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट कुशल ओके सो यू आर कंसीडरिंग वन हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन कुशल पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट ए नो 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 दैट इज फाइन बट यू आर सपोज टू से इट इन अ वेरी टेक्निकल प्रॉपर साइंटिफिक वे फिजिक्स वे तो यू हैव टू से इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन आर सेम तो चलो विल राइट डाउन आंसर ठीक है टू आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज राइट दिस आंसर विथ मी ठीक है कैन इट हैव जीरो डिस्प्लेसमेंट यस इट कैन हैव जीरो डिस्प्लेसमेंट ठीक है सो दैट इज करेक्ट सेकेंड पॉइंट वॉट आर आस्किंग इफ यू आर सपोर्ट यूर आंसर विथ एग्जाम्पल तो ठीक है वी आर राइटिंग डाउन एग्जाम्पल तो एग्जाम्पल इज स्कूल सॉरी सपोज अ बॉय traveling from home to school and again back to home theek hai so we have given example a boy traveling from home to school and again back to home theek hai so this is the example and you have to also justify why this is displacement is zero displacement is zero with this boy because initial and final position are same initial and final position are same theek okay? hai so i have given you a correct what i can say proper answer to this question write it properly yes it can okay place a word there theek okay? hai it can have zero displacement i have forgotten that word here you place your word have theek okay? hai it can have zero displacement Example: A boy traveling from home to school and again back to home. Displacement is zero with this boy because initial and final position are same. ठीक है? Okay. Uh, once you are done, please let me know. ठीक है? Take your time because you know it's a big answer. Some students might be slow, but increase your speed, students, because uh, you are in class ninth now. you have to write down lot of stuff and hence you need to increase your speed and also see whenever i ask you to increase speed uh, please do not do it with, on the expense of using bad handwriting theek hai main bol raha hu isliye jaldi nikalne mein apna handwriting kharab mat karo theek hai always write down with a very nice handwriting only then you will get good marks in your class 10th theek hai class 10th mein if you want good marks you should have good handwriting theek hai so do not Uh, make your handwriting bad just because i am asking you to write down fast chalo give me answer in your chat box whether you are completed done okay do not write the question just give that heading there we already given that heading right blue questions page 200 and we have written there one and the answer i will never ask you to write down questions so stop asking me the question sir whether we should write question that's a stupid thing to ask okay chalo okay fine 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 now uh, we will go with the next thing uh, but it's it's a big one actually so if you have a certain doubt theek hai if you have certain doubt uh, you can ask me right now and then uh, so let's say we can do one thing just one minute uh, we will complete this uh, second question later we'll complete the third question keep the second second question pending theek hai focus on this they are asking which of the following is true for displacement it's a true false question it cannot be zero they are asking whether true or false regarding displacement give me answer in the chat box it cannot be zero they are asking whether it is true or false it is totally false displacement can be zero we have seen lot of times theek okay? hai so first third a false theek okay? hai write down in your notebook third a false third a false theek okay? hai third a false what about the second one its magnitude is greater than the distance traveled by the object magnitude matlab value value of distance value of displacement is greater than distance they are saying it is possible whether true or false whether the magnitude that is value of displacement can be greater than distance is it possible no 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 it's never possible right so that means second third b is also false magnitude that means value magnitude ka matlab kya hota hai value value is greater than the distance it can never happen 
okay so that's it for the day students uh, revise these and we will complete the second question in the next session theek hai and uh, also do one thing students uh, see uh, i will just tell you in a short way what is happening right now is uh, this lesson um, it's it's very much difficult it's it's not because it is my subject physics or uh, it's something like that but this subject requires a lot of attention so you must have seen your chemistry lesson has started theek hai so you must be feeling it's very simple because it might just be dealing with solid liquids and gases so you might be very happy theek hai just matter solid is nothing but having definite shape definite volume and that stuff you must be doing theek hai so use your energies extra energies for this lesson this lesson is very complicated even if you complete it properly there is no guarantee that you will score out of marks there is so much things like in this lesson so a uh, new change we have to do uh, i might have to take uh, your physics lessons on daily basis theek hai like class 9 physics lessons i have to take it daily so that our portion will be completed and still you will have lot of time to practice only then suppose let's say i can be you know relaxed that my kids you my kids would be able to take like say out of marks in physics so only then it is possible so we might change our our way of teaching theek hai it it has to be done on daily basis theek hai so we will be completing many books don't worry i will be completing that s chand and all those things will complete do not worry and i will never give you extra work theek hai so uh, but you have to make sure that whatever instructions i am giving it is through experience theek hai so it has to be followed on any condition like whatever the problems you have that's your own issue but whenever i am giving you certain instruction it has it is being done with the help of experience and it is in benefit for you if you follow that theek hai so let us end our session for today and we will meet in the next period that is tomorrow chalo and please revise this concepts we have to solve one very important question tomorrow it's very difficult one that second one which we left so we have to solve it tomorrow okay thank you students bye bye have a nice day take care <laughs> yes you are always welcome students oh, whoever are whoever are sending thank you okay you are always welcome omkar you are always welcome chalo bye bye